Good morning. The shitty hallway lighting once again. It's Sunday and I am on my way to work at SoulCycle. And that's all I really have planned for today. I have like some school work to do later, but I haven't vlogged in a while, so I know mainly it's just for my parents to watch and keep up with me. So here you go, a little insight into my life. Um, daylight savings time was last night, so we sprung forward an hour. So even though it's 7.45, it's really 6.45 in our bodies, at least for a little bit. But <clears throat> I didn't go out last night or anything. I stayed in and was sad over boys, but we're getting over it. You know, I can't let it drag me down. Just gotta keep moving forward, focus on the good things. And for Lent this year, my goal was to reduce my screen time, especially in the morning, like to just stop scrolling on Instagram and stuff like that and wasting time and I, I haven't even opened the app yet today and instead I replaced all that screen time scrolling with listening to the verse of the day from the Bible app so you know I'm trying my hardest to be a good person and centered and it's freezing now I should have brought a jacket to walk to work by freezing in Florida, I mean it's probably like 70 degrees, but it's chilly. I'm gonna go, I think I have enough time to stop and get a coffee. I'll probably be like five minutes late, but the latte is definitely worth it. First time I've ever been the first one here. I'm usually always like five minutes late, <laughs> but I am three minutes early today. So Dustin and I went to the beach together the other day. He put sunscreen everywhere but on his giant back tattoo. And it was disgusting. <laughs> you think you've got a chemical peel. What's up, Gwenny Gwen? Are you gonna? Uh, let's see, Soul Cycle, what a great day. Just so that you remember for your memory, you just wrote up for um, Sarah. I did. And the Taylor Swift ride. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Don't tell anybody it was Taylor Swift. I like notoriously um, I hate Taylor Swift. I'll never play her in any of my classes. But 1989, I can get behind that album. Yeah, that's my favorite album. That are the country albums. Mm, mm, Speak mm. now. Speak now. Can you tell he's from Texas? <laughs> tell Gwen something. Tell Gwen something? You did such a good job on podium. Bye. I just face it. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna lie. That's why I got up. During that, did you see me like randomly get up during that song? I realized somebody. I was like, I realized somebody like, was behind me, and I was like, down, and then I saw everyone like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like when there's a cute dog, you know, you just can't help but look. Like, I thought it was like baby. I know. The fire alarm was going off during class, and there's like these two hot firefighters, and we're all like, I was a little hot. <laughs> That's not going in. That's gonna <laughs> cut out. <laughs> My God. This guy always sounds me. Oh 
I'm home now and I, I picked up Pura Vida again <laughs> on the way home. I got lunch. I haven't eaten anything like at all today. Um, work was really cute, fun, good vibes. Everybody from Seoul is going to the beach together right now. And I like totally forgot I have a meeting for bar three at three o'clock and it's 1.30 so I can't go to the beach. <sighs> so I'm like getting FOMO. <laughs> um, yeah, but being with like friends just really turned your mood around, you know? Really lifted me up. Riding podium for Sarah was super fun also. Yeah. I cleaned my entire apartment last night um, instead of going out just to like, you know when you're like in a mood and you just start cleaning everything? I did that and I feel so good. Like the rug is just so clean right now. I mean, I know my food are on the table, ignore that, but the floors, spotless. Everything is so nice. And then Ivan is gonna get home and he better keep it this way. <laughs> Um, my friend Megan, her boyfriend was like in between leases for the month of March. And I was like, well, I have a spare guest bedroom if you want to stay with me. So he moved in like two weeks ago. And right now he's scheduled to stay until April, I guess, if they find a new place. But I honestly don't mind living with him. It's been pretty good so far. Um, it's nice to have somebody to like split the expenses with also, obviously. I think we're both pretty mellow people. It's not like we're having parties at the apartment every weekend. I would hate that, so. I also have this um, speech pathology and anatomy assignment due today that I have been putting off all week because I've been on spring break. And I'm just not feeling it. I kind of just want to take the L. But it's so easy. I just have to like do it, you know? Sit down and like get in the zone. On my way to bar free now, I'm of course going to be like a little bit late. Um, but I am a woman of my word. So I already have a date scheduled for Wednesday night. This guy I met Friday night, we got lunch together Saturday, yesterday, and he just texted me asking if I was free for dinner this week. I think it's important just keep playing the dating field for me at the moment. And at bar three, I'm supposed to teach like a little leg demo today for the group. So I was like listening to my music and I was like, oh, I'm just going to do what I taught last week. Nothing too special. I feel like I have like endless options. So maybe I'll even ask them what they want to do because I'm not really passionate about one thing or the other. I teach like 10 to 12 classes a week at bar three and at my other studio. So like, I'm always doing something different. I'm not really like huge into one thing or the other. Although I've been recently loving this song Ratata by Skrillex and Missy Elliott. It's like the perfect balance of like new sounds like EDM that I like and an old throwback song. So like the older crowd likes it too. Well, I'm home now and making dinner. Ivan and Megan got home like right after me and I just filled them in on my boy situation. Which like isn't even that dramatic, like it's not even that big of a deal. I'm just annoyed. Like I'm a very straightforward person 
and I expect everybody else to be straightforward with me like I am with them. And when they're not, I'm like, what? But I just appreciate when people are like dead, straight up honest. Like, I don't really love the playing games thing. I think it's kind of elementary. Now I'm finally actually doing that homework assignment that I needed to do earlier that I just didn't want to do. And I'm forcing myself to sit down and finish it. And I'm listening to The Killers on record. My sister got this for me like years ago. And the sun is setting and it looks so good. I wanted to show you. And I love my building so much. We have a little pool and a fountain. So it always sounds like it's raining at all times. on the side too. Yeah, and that side you can like actually touch it and change all the settings. Wow. No, he has like hot dogs on his hands. Those are hot dogs. <laughs> I just watched some of the Oscars with Megan and Ivan and Ivan bought me um, a pint of non-dairy Ben and Jerry's from Publix today, which was so sweet. So I had some of that. And it's like 10 p.m., but we're so tired from daylight savings because you got like one less hour of sleep last night and the night before. I don't well, my GoPro just died, so I'll say goodnight on my phone. Mm -hmm. 